Hello, I'm Stephen, a Senior Technical Account Manager here at AWS, based out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot 504 errors returned while using a classic load balancer. Let's get started. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Load Balancer Console. Then, select the Load Balancer. Here, you can see the details of your load balancer. First, let's confirm that CloudWatch metrics are turned on for our load balancer. Choose the Monitoring tab and confirm that you can see the metrics for your load balancer. The most common reason for an HTTP 504 error is that a corresponding instance didn't respond to the request within the configured idle timeout. To resolve this, you can do one of two things. The first way is to modify the idle timeout for your load balancer so the HTTP request is completed within the specified period. The default is 60 seconds. Navigate back to the description tab of your classic load balancer and scroll down until you see the idle timeout under the attributes section. Now edit the timeout value. Let's set it to 65 seconds for our application and then choose save. The other way to resolve the error is to tune your application to respond more quickly. If your backend instance closes a TCP connection to the load balancer before it reaches its idle timeout, then an HTTP 504 error might appear. We'll resolve this by activating keep alive settings on our backend instances and then setting that value to a value greater than the load balancer's idle timeout. Navigate to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud console, select Instances, select our application instance, and select Connect from the Actions menu. Note, these instructions are specific to Apache. You'll set these values based on your version of Apache or Nginx from your documentation. Edit the Apache configuration using elevated permissions. Edit or add the accept filter. Save the configuration and then exit the editor. It's a best practice to turn off event MPM and optimally configure the pre-fork and worker MPMs. Open the configuration with those modules. Edit the values as follows, assuming that the load balancer is configured for a 65 second timeout. Note that the max keep alive value is an estimate and might need to be increased or decreased for optimal performance based on instance type, size, or workload. Save the configuration and then exit the editor. You can now restart your web server to confirm the changes. Now you know how to troubleshoot 504 errors returned while using a classic load balancer. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.